if you drive, bike, bus, or walk along Albion Road, you'll see across from the Albion Center these vertical multicolored bars which form the top facade of this very modern, state-of-the-art and amazingly stylish building. They seem to be saying, Welcome! You are safe in here even though most of the walls are made of huge glass panels. This is the new Albion branch of the Toronto Public Library constructed on the previous parking lot. As we go back inside the building, we are greeted by state-of-the-art book return and express checkout. With seating for 180 people, the 29,000 square foot library designed by architects Perkins and Will features an impressive 1,300 square foot glass wall auditorium seating 50 to 60 people as well as a 12 seat 380 square foot program room as well as six quiet study rooms. Technology buffs will be happy to know that there is a digital innovation hub, a room with 3D printers, technology has an important place at the library, which is central to the vision of the Toronto Public Library. All of these features are free, some of them with a library card, which you can get for free if you live in Toronto. We humans have been gifted with the most advanced brain on the planet, to be learners, designers, inventors, and creators. So why not avail yourself of all this free stuff? Knowledge is power, as well as good for your mind. Keep it active and alive with all these offerings from the library system of the Toronto Public Library through the Albion branch and online. If you are already using the library, you may be more focused on just getting your books and leave. But there are so many bustling activities happening here. Why wouldn't you want to get more of your friends and relatives interested in what the library has to offer? To conclude, I'd like to quote the city librarian, Vickery Bowles. The library is for all of us, a place to learn, create, and discover. We want to spark experiences and opportunities that empower you and connect you, not just to your library, but to our thriving city and its community. Now there's much less now with the global warming. Oh yeah.